Hello, welcome once again. Now we're going to use the meter, the multimeter, minimum, maximum, and hold functions. Now, I, this is the one that you saw that I made a video on. What's the first thing we do? As you notice, I have two separate leads. These are alligator. So one is black, negative. The other one, instead of a red one, I use a green one. What's the first thing we do? We put on ohms. Calibrate. And you see what the reading is? Steady, 0 0.06 ohms, that's what we want. Now, we're gonna measure the battery output, but we're gonna put on minimum, maximum. Put on DC volts. Now, the camera you probably can't see, but it's okay. I'm gonna put one, obviously, on the negative. Now, which one do we put first when we have a voltmeter? You put the negative first or the positive first? When you're using a voltmeter, this voltmeter, any voltmeter to put on a battery always put the negative first always otherwise you will become ground when we put the cables when we connect the cables we do the opposite we first put the positive then the negative why because the, all this chassis is ground and when we're doing things we ha usually using uh, um, ratchets or things like that tools metal tools that can conduct so if I'm at positive over here, if I already put the negative and I'm tightening the positive, the other end of that tool might touch another ground. Let's say the alternator. That alternator is ground. This is ground. So anything is ground. So that's why we do the opposite. Remember, a meter, always put first the negative, always. Batteries is the opposite. I'm gonna put this here. Put the other one here, the green one on this one. What are we gonna do with the meter? Put the meter here. Now, hopefully, let's move this a little here. Okay, we're gonna put the minimum maximum function. What is this measuring now? This is measuring now the present voltage of the battery. And it's going to keep on changing and changing because the battery is changing also. As we said before in the other one, this is going to be maximum, minimum, and average. This is going to be, the, this is the present one. This is important. Now, you're going to see when I crank it, the maximum is going to be 14. It's going to change. Watch the, watch the numbers change. Okay. Now, what are you seeing here? Present voltage from where? The alternator. Maximum is 14. What it went down to, see, now you can see what the what it went down to. It went down to 10.3. When I cranked, the minimum went to 10.3. You can get away with 9.6. You could get away with that. That's 9.6 is preferable, but I always want it around 11, to be honest. So 10.3, that's what it went down to when it cranked. With the starter cranked. Now with the alternator, we have this. The average is this. Now, that's why I love this meter. Like I said before the other video, I can see all of them in one shot. What other meter can you see it all in one shot? There is none. Only this one. The other one, meter is you have to go first. Minimum, maximum. This gives you a visual look right away at what was going on when I cranked it. Also, you could do a graph also. There's a graph that you can do to show you over time. So let's say I think I'm losing a, a current, a, a, a parasitic draw, and I'll leave, it, I'll leave this hooked on for 20 minutes, right, to see if that current was drained for the battery. I can check it in the log over 20 minutes how much the voltage was at this specific time, that specific time, and, I, and it'll graph it and it'll show it to me. A beautiful meter, the best of the best. Let's use the hold function like we said before. 
Okay, let's switch this off. Okay, battery voltage from the alternator, we know that. Put on hold. Now, it's gonna remember the last number in memory that it measures. This is the last number it measures, right? I have both, I have both of these connected. I'm gonna take this one away. I'm gonna take the positive away. See, nothing. I don't have it connected anymore. How much does that measure? That remembered the last digit. Put it in memory and remember the last digit that it measured. I don't even have to have it hooked up as you can see as my demonstration tells you that, right? What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful meter. You can't get better than this. Okay? I hope this was helpful. Like I said, please, uh, please subscribe to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. My other channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. We'll do more hands-on. I want to see if I get views or something like that. Hopefully, I'll get views for this. But like I said before, this is, you want to, you want a meter that you can see everything in one shot. And this is that meter. It gives you everything at one, at one time. Again, minimum. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can't ask for more. Thanks for watching.